He's dead, Jim. Hey, hey, everyone. I am the great and powerful Cheese Fry, and I figured that this is kind of gaming related. So I have been on a massive Digimon kick recently, and I decided to get a version 20th uh, uh, V-Pet. But you know what I was thinking? Yeah, it's that translucent yellow. It's sexy. It's kind of coppery. I don't know if that shows up on camera very well, but it's got a bit of a red, orangey red tint to it. You can kind of see it like that. And I thought, you know what? It'd look really cool if this, where the, all the cracks are, if this looked patinaed, old, worn out, like I had this from the early 90s. So I thought, let's tear it apart. Oh, that was weird. All right. But yeah, I'm gonna tear this thing apart. I'm gonna customize it. But I don't wanna ruin my beautiful, beautiful custom Gabumon mat that I designed myself and that you can also purchase on inkedgaming.com. Link will be in the description. So I, like any normal person, keep freezer paper in my room for just this occasion. All right, so what I've got here is a couple of different types of folk art paint. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with this black one here. I'm gonna, I have to, I keep forgetting I'm gonna flip it around in post. So I'm gonna take this black one here and I'm going to get it all up in these little spots right here. All right, all the cracks make it look nice and old. And then I'm gonna do, go and dry brush over that with some of this. A little bit of this, a little bit of this, and it won't be as metallic, but I'm using what I've got. I don't want to go back out to the store because it's fucking cold. Uh, all of the city is is closed down for now because Alabamians don't know how to handle the cold, and it's kind of funny. <laughs> but first, we have to take the screws out. So that's where I get my little precision driver kit out. Okay. It's a larger bit than I would have liked, but hey, it works. That's so weird though. Maybe because it's mostly flat. Okay, there we go. So that is one. I'm gonna set it over here with the battery. Dang, I thought I was gonna have to scrap this whole video idea. That took way too long. I also just realized that I don't have my phone plugged in, so there is no telling how long it'll last. Oh yeah, a little peek behind the curtain. I use my phone battery. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that. Well, look at that. Oh, wonderful. Separation has been achieved and we have one, two, three, four screws. So this is different. This is different. I believe this is the backup. Oh no, actually that might be the buzzer. I think that's the buzzer. Oh dear. I think I just killed... I think I just killed a Gistramon. That's fine. Blitzgreymon was dead and he was, he was, he was the golden child anyway. So this gives me a second chance. Oh. oh. And that's all there is. That one tiny little circuit board. Now I know that there are backlight mods. You know what? Let's leave that. I think that's fine. Just the way it is. Yeah. Just the way it is. I know that there are mods where you can like put a couple of lights on the side to give this a backlight. I don't think I'm going to do that. Don't know why there's just a... Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, what? Huh? I am... What? Did I break it? No? 
Oh my god, it's just on there with magnets? What? That's wild. One, two, oh, and it's gone. Okay. This, I think I'm gonna leave its original color. That way it still matches with this. So we're gonna just set that off to the side. And now we have the shell. This is where it gets exciting. I have with me a cup of water and a paintbrush and some, this is licorice. So it's not a pure black. It's got a little bit of blue to it. Uh, folk art, acrylic paints. I've used them for a while for a bunch of different things, but never for this. So I'm going to do a, oh boy, oh boy. I forgot to shake it. Oh, that's much better. Look at that. Oh, don't use too much. That's already too much, fuck. Okay. All right, so what I want to do is make a bit of a wash. So I'm gonna go ahead. I could dry brush it, but a wash, from what I understand, will get down into all these little bits a little bit better. So I'm actually also going to kind of pre-wet. Don't know if this step is necessary, the pre-wetting, but you know, I wanna try and get do it as well as I can. And then I'm gonna try and thin out the paint as much as I can. Actually, I might be able to just use what I get from the, uh, the cup. Maybe I could have just added it straight to the cup. I don't know. And we're just going to go ahead and, oh my gosh, that is immediate results. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Immediate results. That's incredible. So when I took, I took a single drawing class in college. And the one thing that my professor kept harping on to me about over and over, Robbie, you need contrast. You need contrast. You gotta push those darks. You gotta push those lights. Now, I don't think we can push it any farther than black, can we? And you know what's funny is almost none of these videos I ever really plan out. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. This one, this one I've been thinking about for days now. Okay, so I'm gonna toss that in the cup. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes. Then I'm gonna take some paper towel and I'm gonna dab up as much of the excess as I can. And then I'm pretty much gonna let this sit maybe an hour, maybe three, uh, just to let everything kind of dry off a little bit. And then we're going to add the patina. And we're back. I did a couple of extra coats on these. Uh, it's been about an hour. So everything's nice and dry. Of course, these are just acrylic paints. So through the magic of YouTube, I already have these three pieces done to how I want them to be. So now all we got to do is I'm going to time lapse through this one to show you exactly what was going on here. And then we'll move on to the next step. <laughs> Alright, 
Well, it's maybe not quite, eh. Yeah, maybe not quite as clean as the other side. But you know, this is the side where all your fingers, prints are gonna be, and eh. It actually makes sense for this to be kind of dirty. That's why I left the uh, black around the rings. Enough of that. Let's make sure my brush is dry for the next step, which is the dry brush. I lied. Change of plans, actually. Instead of dry brushing on, um, I'm actually going to take this darker, this winter green, and I'm going to do a wash of it as well to kind of let it dip down into the, uh, the, cur the, the crevices that the black doesn't cover, and also to give it a little bit more intrigue and color on the inside, right? Because we've got grime, and now we've got the patina, literally rust, copper rust to be specific, because this kind of looks coppery. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. I just have to um, <clears throat> change my water out first. Wouldn't you say that was important? Yeah, let's go do that. Bada bang. All right, old cup, clean water. So now we're going to take that same paper plate. Make sure I grab the right one, that wintergreen, good old apple barrel wintergreen. That's uh, still kind of runny, which is fine for what we're using it for. So let's get these boys ready, get this boy ready. Not this one. This one's basically done. I just wanted to add some grime and kind of oily stuff to it. It looks like it's kind of been out for a little while. That was my intention there. Of course, keeping the buttons pristine because we don't need those sticking up. All right, so now we begin anew. Look at that. That actually turned out better than I could have ever hoped. Especially this side right here, you can see that is exactly how I would think that this would wear. I may do another wash coat right here just to add a little bit more of that effect in here. But even if you look on the back panel, on the battery access panel, that looks like it's been, you know, like this was made of copper and then left out in the weather for a year or two or 30. And it's like, you know, I should, I should rename this video. I, I found my old V pad after 30 years. Oh, oh baby. Look, Oh, look at that. It looks so old. I love it. All right. So we're going to let that finish drying for just a couple of minutes, and then we'll be right back. All right. We are back with a fresh brush. And this time I'm not changing out the water because we actually don't need clean water this time, at least not yet. Funny, I just realized this. This color is actually called patina. Very fitting, I think. Now, for this last step, I'm just gonna dry brush on a little bit. Okay, so I got a little bit here, and all I'm gonna do is just pull it straight out. I'll load both sides of the brush, of course. I'm gonna go, this is one of the fun things about having a paper plate as a palette, is sure you gotta be more careful about accidentally mixing your colors, but you can use the rim to help get off any excess paint you really don't want. And that right there is what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to lightly just kind of, especially around those edges, around those 
these edges. Lightly brush it around on top. And what are we looking for? Contrast. Contrast. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, well, I would say we're gonna just go and let this dry, but I don't think we have to. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of buff it down just a little bit with a clean portion of my paper towel here. We're gonna see what it looks like when I'm done. And there it is, a little dry fit, just to make sure that it looks good. To kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like when everything's back in there. And you can still see quite a bit of the copper showing through. So this is probably, you know, only aged maybe five, 10 years instead of the full 30. But that is absolutely stunning. A massive difference, huge difference. Oh. It's beautiful. Now, as you can see, this acrylic paint does wipe off very, very easily. Um, part of it is because it's not quite fully dry yet, but the other side of it is that I need to actually get a sealant on this. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna seal it in the morning, off, off camera, and... Uh, Put her back together and see what she looks like. So this is getting very exciting. Here we are. It is the next day. I have put three coats of a satin spray on enamel sealant. And boy, does it look good. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, darling. So now all that's left to do is put the baby back together. Just gonna pop this tape out and put it all back together. And there it is all finished and put back together it does look a little funny because i didn't do the uh the toggles up here but you know the in the lore we can say that's the only part that they took care of was uh those contacts although realistically speaking i guess these would be the most worn out part of uh, something that's been used for 30 years but i think this looks absolutely beautiful now the biggest thing to check is, did we kill a Gistramon? And it looks like because we're getting that, wait, wait, load, load. Oh my God, yeah, he's hungry. Oh, wow, but see, it works. And we did not, we did not kill a Gistramon. Unfortunately, that also means that we can't bring back Blitz Greymon. But I think I'm going to set this over, get some B-roll in my light box, and I think we're going to call this done. How about that? <laughs>